This morning didn't go great. At all. Welcome, Spenny. Welcome in. Uh, time for some more Spenny. Uh, episode two. Stream went. It went. Um, started off promising enough. Uh, a draw and a win in our first two games. And from there we really struggled, including the qualifying round um, in the FA Cup. Uh, we did get through uh, two rounds of it in the end, but defeat to Kettering Town and again finishing on a 3 1 defeat after going 1 0 up. After a, what felt like a, a turning performance in Curzon Ashton, really thought that we'd simplified it. We'd, we'd changed things and things were clicking. As you can see, so we went to a much more uh, basic, uh, narrow diamond team instruction wise. Try to simplify things, try to lower the intensity because uh, we saw performance drop off due to what felt like overpressing, felt like the stamina um, decay if you will, that we expected from this year's game. It didn't seem to be just that. I think the players I brought in, although doing well, possibly not the positions I needed in. I'm I'm surprised to say this, but things are not going well with Glenn Taylor and Mulhern as a pair. They're just not scoring or putting away chances the way they need to, even at this level. What I'm going to try and do is find some free transfers, we don't have a budget, we don't have a senior affiliate, loans aren't working, we're gonna go and overspend. We play uh, Kidderminster Harriers, they are 14th in the National League North, we are 13th. I've got Heaps of players on trials, as you can see, we're kind of um, casting out a, a large net as we really do need to get something going. Um, the more I think about the system and how I want them to play, I think the best way to describe it is think of Mullen as the quarterback. I have been watching NFL tonight. Uh, think of Mullen as the quarterback um, because the Rams just not pulling enough strings in that front line. I think we're going to go back to Mulhern. Um, eventually as the advance forward Glenn Taylor's the target forward play C but if we're not if we don't get anything any sort of output from him in this game I think it, we very quickly go back to Mulhern because we did have link up between Mulhern and um, Taylor started the season and we've really struggled um, since they've stopped really I'm going to put Thompson on the bench because God knows we, we need to change uh, things up if we're not um, getting this game Opposite instructions, it's been very difficult to determine what I actually want from the team. To be honest, the triggers are a bit more confusing. I think I want to press when the ball's out wide. Um, I'm also going to ask to show them on their weaker foot for now. And I'm also going to show the striker on his weaker foot and see how that goes. The way I like to set up my tactic is I like to to play our style and force that style on the opposition, including opposition instructions. We're not looking at who they've got, what their abilities are. We're going to play the same way. So it's more about the positional. So once we work, we work out whether these triggers, these pressing triggers are allowing us to close down the opportunities, stop these fucking crosses, stop these crosses coming in the box. We'll be in a better spot. We're in the transfer market with no money. So effectively um, really need to, something to just click because we're going to go in a lot of debt. Pouring rain um, does make me want to go direct almost instantly because nothing's really been working for us. Sliding tackle by Preston, wins the ball, goes out of play. I'm almost nervous as, as the game ticks on. We had such a bad run this morning. We weren't losing a lot of games, but our inability to win and 
put teams away when we're dominant. Really poor. Mullen with the corner whips this one in. Taylor's there. Taylor gets the first goal of the night. Oh my lord. Oh, what? Who's offside there? Oh, that's torture. Keeper's absolutely flapping at it anyway, but they've given offside. That is where our luck is right now. A good set piece. Whipped in. Taylor rises up, connects. Because of the offside, it's not even counting as a shot on target. I'm looking at the team. I think these triggers are not helping us. Maybe the higher line of engagement. Drop that down. I just look at the team. I look. We look so tired already compared to the opposition. I don't really want to press. I just... There's a lack of tackling. Now, if someone came in the stream and genuinely said, we've hit the post, Sunday roast. Someone came in the stream and said, oh, the beta has an issue. There's no, no tackling. That can't be a thing, right? I'm sure it'd be getting screamed about if there was no tackling. I've seen tackles. It just seems that lower league, the tackle, we were getting stuff in the data hub, right? Looked at the data hub and it was telling us strong in the tackle, not a lot of tackles. They kept going, oh, it's curious. I've no idea how we change it. We tried a ball winning midfielder, didn't seem to improve or increase the amount of tackles at all. Chandler through the Ram. Ram takes a shot. Simpson gets hands up to it, but can't hold on to it. Goes out for a corner. We have another chance here. Mullen over the corner. Can he whip this? I want the exact same uh, corner before, but without the offside. This time Curtis goes in and doesn't get close to it. Carrington brings the ball forward up the left-hand side. Mullen chasing back. Just keep him honest. Yeah, it does enough to turn him back, but would have loved a tackle there. At halftime, I, say we're, I would say we're the better team. It's just, um, yeah, can we do anything? Right, so Volks is getting too much space for his crosses, despite us always triggering a press when the ball's played to him. Noted. I'm kind of hoping that Fylde, uh, who just beat us 3-1, even though we went 1-0 up, I'm kind of hoping they are, well, they're second in the table, so kind of hoping that it wasn't a terrible performance. We just were against a better team, maybe. Now, I still think we can, um, a couple of wins, we start chasing playoffs, and that's where I'd like to be first season in the playoff picture. Eventually. See, he's not playing great. Curtis is a bit run down. He's playing well. Mullins run down, playing well. I think we've got to take off C. We'll go for on. We're for on Stephen Thompson. I, I don't want to risk Mulhern here. We're going to ask him to be the advance forward. Allow him to move in those channels to see if he can get out wide and create something as we concede. Ashley Hammonds. And again, it's the same thing we're seeing over and over again. It is a cross and it is a free header. I don't know what to put this down to. Is it tiredness? It's just... It's just uselessness. Curtis completely misses it. Crosses seem um, almost overpowered at this level. We're going to have to go positive. Hit early crosses ourselves, I guess. Whip those crosses. Let's see if that has any impact. I'd, I'd like to focus the play down the left-hand side. Honestly, not sure. Up the tempo. Um, Preston... Wing back attack. Curse has to come off. He's just he's just letting in a goal. He's playing seven point nine. He just completely lost his man. I guess Ron Frank as well. Headed off the line. The Ram coming forward. Can he turn this? Oh, it's last minute stuff. It's a horrible foul by Han Hemmings, who's bloody scored against us. And we're going to go out with a whimper here. Very poor. Just don't see where we're, how we're going to turn this around. With the way this, this team plays. And I mean like my team, I, I cannot get any sort of performance out of this team. Preston, who's maybe one of our better players, runs the ball straight out of play. We're, we've lost 1-0 away from home to a team... We were better than. It's coming down to individual errors. It's coming down to individual poor performances. Our centre back playing a seven point nine just completely misses a header. Seven point eight. He's best performer. How does he miss that? Really poor. Really poor from us. 
I, I, I really do think the board are going to start asking some very tough questions. Questions I don't have answers for. I'm just I'm just looking at the, the system again and trying to work out how can I make this easier for the team. The short passing and the, the tempo clearly isn't working. Well, we, we need to strip this right back. Yeah, I really don't know. It's 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 stripped back, so now it's down to rolls. And I think rolls-wise, we've got to go with the DLP defend now. Um, Mizal is not giving us anything. Carol Lero would make sense, but I just don't think if we don't get him forward... Then we got so little. Ah, maybe, maybe we go double Carolero and play it like a a traditional narrow diamond. Poacher's absolutely useless. Gonna have to go advance forward. Never struggled to get results in the first season with Spenny, and we can't get anything working right now. These narrow losses and these draws are really getting to me. I don't know. I don't know how to stop it. The games aren't getting easier. And we look lost. We look lost playing a system I love to play. Take the game to them to a degree. Uh, keep it simple. We're going to go with this. Um, our team looks absolutely knackered. I don't have the depth to make too many changes. Intensity's not too high. He's coming out. Mulhern comes in. Ben Taylor looks rinsed as well. The conditioning is a big problem. I'd like to say that my morale's not completely at rock bottom. But it feels like it is. I still believe in the narrow diamond. I just don't know if I believe I've got the players or the ability to turn this round. Why do I feel like I've lost the locker room? First bit of action. Long throw from them. Flick on. Kennedy goes over to the left hand side. Keeps the ball in play. Finds Mullen. Mullen lays off. We're, we're looking for Mullen. He's playing as the uh, deep line playmaker defend now. So, although he's a playmaker, looking for him to sit in front of that back four a bit more. Um, we've got the two Carroleros moving out a bit wider, giving us options. Preston now doesn't really have anyone in support now. That's a problem. Candy goes there. Puts the ball back to Mullen. Back to Preston. Into Candy. Candy plays it forward. Taylor to the Ram. Oh, it's it's a shot, it is not on target. I've tried to simplify things, but Hobson, header, it's in. What is happening? Unless there's been a massive departure in what works defending corners, I don't know how this keeps happening. Now, why one of my tall players wasn't there doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I wonder if all my set pieces have been f***ed up. That's another header. Same guy. What is this? Really not sure what's going on at the back. Joe Tate's come in and him and uh, Ethan suddenly... I mean, the whole back line... Is playing very poorly now. Is it this? Because they're not t marking tight. They're just stepping off. They're just leaving these free headers. Because it didn't happen pre-season. And typically, even if it's worse players, you would see it and you'd go, oh, they're getting chances they shouldn't be getting because we're leaving these free headers. We didn't see that. We didn't see any of that preseason. I played most of the games, not every game, but I played most of them. Didn't witness any of that, and now we've got no out ball or nothing. I don't get it. Fucking hell, lads. What are we doing at the back? Now I know how man you feel. Eh?
Oh boy. Nah, this is so bad. I'm not. I'm not. I'm genuinely not sure I'll show it. We could be in real fucking trouble. I'm expecting boardroom. Oh, it's so painful. Crazy. Glenn Taylor back, Dobbin. Dobbin whips it in. I mean, we're not winning header, so I don't know why I keep thinking that's the way to get anything from this team. I really need Glenn Taylor just to, to flick the ball onto the other striker and we don't he doesn't do it at all. Like target forward support does not it's not really a support role because you think he would try and make a pass, he doesn't. He really doesn't. Fuck me, I think Dale just made a save. Things are on the up, boys. Right, Preston's rinsed. Might as well take him off. We're losing this game no matter what. We've got nobody on the bench to take on from. Whoa. The Carroleros, it doesn't work. Cause they literally, they don't do anything now. So I'm just going to thrash my arms at them. Let them not react and just send them back out. Because I'm not going to fix anything here. I think a long, hard look after this game um, is probably what I'm going to have to do. The way we're playing, I think we might have to move to a cautious mentality and really try and catch teams out on the counter. I, there's no like we keep we kept the ball well earlier this season, right? We had we we had more possession. You think like ah, that's a positive thing. It doesn't seem to be positive. Even now, we've got more pos possession than them. We do nothing with the ball. Look at these perf look at these performances. A five point nine. I don't get how. How are there so many teams in this league with more money than us? Even, even at the start, we were maybe, what, mid-table? I need to go have a look and see what the finances are because I don't believe we're the, the team with the least budget in the league. Glenn Taylor gets a consolation goal. Great, a superb team goal. Well, at least we got one goal this uh, episode. Collector's item for Glenn Taylor. We used to, in past FMs, destroy this league. I can't get nothing from him. Well, watching the team concede again, I guess. It just feels like every free kick or set piece that the opposition have, we just don't look ready. Like, I don't understand. I didn't think set pieces had changed at all, so... Very surprised how easily um, outplayed we are in our own third. Like, it's like we're not even there. Bobby Johnson. Oh, it's torture. This is torture. I hope someone out there is enjoying this because I've not enjoyed a single minute of this episode. We have looked rancid. Very tough. Very tough to take. Something's clearly got to change. Um, personnel. Philosophy. Could this be the death of the narrow diamond? If you did enjoy the video or if you... Even if it wasn't about... Enjoying my pain, enjoying my misery. Hit that subscribe button. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video. Comment below on what I'm doing wrong. Someone out there, help me. Help me. Embrace the grind. Have a good week. And I hope I'm back for another episode.